Hey there, I'm Coach Michael Burt, live from the Greatness Factory. Every week I come to you right here on Mondays, trying to do three things that a good coach should do for you. Multiply your life, multiply your money, and multiply your business. And today I'm going to break down how to present a life-changing opportunity to another person. I'm going to show you the difference between a, an improvement to someone's life and a life-changing opportunity because no matter what you're selling at the end of the day, you have to convince another person that what you have and through a relationship with you, that it will significantly change the game and change their life. Super Coach live from the Greatness Factory. I'm Coach Michael Burt and today I'm going to break down six steps to presenting a life-changing opportunity to other people. Everybody needs a coach in life. Coaching businesses and entrepreneurs like you to spike an additional 40% to your bottom line. Michael Burt is a multi-championship coach, best-selling author, trainer, motivator, and all-around super coach. Now. Now. From the Greatness Factory Studios, this is Super Coach. Coach. Welcome back to Super Coach weekly podcast that I do. You can find this on iTunes, Stitcher Radio, Podcast Republic. Share this with people out there because every week I believe a good coach will have conversations with you that you don't want to have. Right, Mark Smeltzer, Daniel Hodges, Greg Franklin, James Payne, Kelly Stevenson. What's up, Kelly? D. Richard Hodges. I believe a good coach will have conversations with you that you may or may not want to have that make you do some things you may or may not want to do, but a good coach will help you become something you didn't think you could become. And one thing I'm going to coach you on today, Corey Kirk, is I'm going to coach you on how to present a life-changing opportunity to another person. I'm going to show you how to raise your game, how to get a lift, how to create new and exciting things that you're constantly asking people to participate in. Okay, and, and part of this is over the break, I began to study different people during the Christmas break last year. And one of the people that I really hadn't bought into for a period of time and then went back and said, let me give this guy a chance was Russell Brunson. And I saw Russell Brunson speak at uh, a conference and I'm sitting there thinking, OK, this guy's good, talks really fast, which I can identify with. But I went in and I began to study his work and specifically what he became a master at was how to present opportunity to other people. And I began thinking like we're all in the business of presenting opportunity to people. We're all in the business of sharing our ideas with people. And for too long, we haven't sold a life changing opportunity. We really just sold like this is going to be an improvement on your life. Like this is going to enhance your life. This is going to do this. Like me focus on Monster Producer. I'm not selling Monster Producer, our coaching program. I'm selling the outcome of Monster Producer. My wife is not selling her book, Living with the Monster. She's selling the outcome of what's in the book that can help you live with an obsessed and focused person. So fast forward to January, I teach a series called Game Changer. For those of you in Monster Producer, you know that. And I'm teaching this concept of how to significantly change the game, not only in your own life, but in other people's lives. And I'm sitting there thinking about this. There's a huge difference between an improvement offer and a life changing offer. And I come back and I tell my sales team, look, we got to We got to start presenting this concept. Do you believe we're in the business of changing other people's lives? Do you believe that that we can significantly alter a person's future? Do you believe that through a relationship with us, we can be a game changer? And the answer is yes, yes, yes. How do we know that? Because of the results. So what we have to do, this is me telling my team and me telling you, is we got to get stronger and, and bolder with with saying this is a life-changing opportunity. So we go on this cruise and we're, I'm spending three days in the Bahamas with these people on our cruise and I'm sitting there thinking let's take one concept and let's really really go deep. Let's really break in. So we begin to break down that how do you present a life-changing offer to another person? That's not fluff, like not like you pretend it to be a life changer, but it really is a life changer, right? Blake Duncan and Dorian Deshaun and Tammy Pickett and Craig Harris, you know, and so I began creating this formula and the formula has helped me to gain clarity about presenting an idea to other people because that's really the initiation, in my opinion, of a sales cycle is they have a problem. You have a solution to that problem. You present them an idea of how to solve their problem. And, and there is an outbound effort that you have to take. So when I broke down life-changing offer, here's a couple things. Number one, you got to get people excited 
about their bigger future. And it's going to be very hard for you to get them excited when you're not excited. Can't tell you how many lukewarm people out there in the world selling lukewarm products and lukewarm services. And there's no enthusiasm and there's no energy. Okay, part of what I do as a coach when I'm talking to people is I'm talking about their future. Like I'm moving you in a forward posture. I'm keeping you in an offensive mobility. I'm driving you toward a dominant focus. I'm getting you excited about your future, okay? Sometimes when I'm not feeling excited, I just watch my own videos and I get excited. Even the, even the short Instagram clicks, uh, the, the things that Jack created. I, I'm, you know, this weekend I was like, man, I need to crank my engine. I watched some of those videos and the music and the energy and, and the movement. And, and, you know, just got me excited, Dusty Wilkerson. It just got me excited about a future. Well, you got to have some enthusiasm. That word means God within, by the way. You got to have some enthusiasm for pushing people toward a bigger future. Because what you're really doing is you're bringing a person clarity. They are, have confusion, and a confusion is a problem that appears to have no solution to it. Confusion is randomness in motion. Confusion is when there's no clear direction. You are, are presenting them a solution to their confusion. And because of your experiences, because of your background, because of your success, because of your credibility indicators, other people are going, man, this dude or this woman or Dusty Wilkerson or Blake Duncan or Corey Kirk or Kelly Stevenson, this is the person that I can get excited about and get, it, get behind. You know, I look at football coaches, and it's hard to get excited about a football coach that just don't seem to have any enthusiasm. Unless they really win, it's hard to, get, it's hard to build consensus and build momentum. So if you're thinking about presenting a life-changing opportunity, let me ask you this question. Number one, do you truly believe in your product or service and it can't change another person's life? Do you believe it? And I have to believe that you believe it. Do you believe that you're not just presenting an improvement on something from their past, like you have a better mousetrap than they do? You, you believe you are presenting them with an opportunity to change their life. I think people that come work with us, it can change their whole life. Change their mindset, change their attitude, change their financial future, okay? Number two, can you get people excited about their bigger future and, and, and move them in a forward posture towards something? People hate stagnation. They hate being stuck. Progress is a natural motivator for people. You got to show progress. We're moving towards something. We're getting better every day. I'm performing at a higher level this, this year than I was last year. I'm starting my days off better today. Me and Big E Hensley got in the gym this morning at 5.30. Okay? And we talk, and we said, we're just going to start our day right, man. We're going to get in there and box, punch, and get started. We're, gonna, we're doing better today than we were yesterday. Okay? We're going to give people clarity about their future because we have certainty. And the only way to have certainty with anything, guys, is continued, consistent, ongoing, systematic repetition. That's how you get a high level of certainty. Now, we come back from the break. I'm going to show you the five, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six steps that I take, six sequential steps that I use to present life-changing opportunity to people because it ain't just a game changer. Melissa Pearl, it's a life changer. You're watching Super Coach live from the Greatness Factory. I'm Coach Michael Burt. Back to Super Coach. All of these shows, all of these shows brought to you by Hotsey Health and Wellness. My friends in Houston, Texas, Doc Hotsey believes in getting people on a path to health and wellness, minus the use of pharmaceutical drugs. Nine monster producers are now going to Houston, Texas to see Doc Hotsey. And Doc Hotsey was with me last week as we did a tour. He's got a book out called Do a 180. Incredibly interesting dude. And uh, I do think he can help you get to a higher frequency and get double your energy and double your income. And now that is a life-changing opportunity. See, when you make a life-changing, uh, uh, when you share a life-changing opportunity to a person, you got to also share, you know, attack the fear. So tomorrow I'm doing legacy selling out at the new lodge that we purchased. That new lodge is a life changer. And here's what I said. I'm going to show you how to double your leads, double your income, get up to as much as 400 leads in a week. That's the life-changing opportunity without cold calling 500 people, begging all your friends to do business with you, um, buying crappy leads. So you present a life-changing opportunity while also addressing the fear 
of the person that is receiving that opportunity. You present the opportunity and you address the fear. When we're looking at our Monster Kids Academy, we're presenting an opportunity for kids to have confidence and bounce back and understand how to handle rejection and all these things. And, okay, while at the same time not making them sit through this, 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 or this, okay? And, and once we figure out how to get the teachers to teach it, we're going to give you curriculum. We're going to make it easy on you, minus you having to add a bunch of things to your plate, okay? So you present life-changing opportunity while simultaneously attacking fear. So let me give you the six steps, Ricky King, on how you can present this. Number one, you had to have had some big revelation through an experience. Let me give an example. This is the part where you touch another person's heart. You start by touching another person's heart. Six years old, a little league baseball coach named Mickey Vincent said to me one day, son, you're going to be a great coach in life. At 15 years old, I got asked to be a coach. These are life-changing revelations, right, Siva? Okay, so the way you present a life-changing opportunity is you first connect to a person's heart. And the way you connect to a person's heart is you go back to a story of origin. Or you go back to a story that was significant in your life. Or you go back to a story that changed everything. So you would hear me say at 18 years old, uh, a coach, famous coach named Don Meyer said, if you don't read another book this year, read The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. And I went and read that book and it changed my whole life. Now, so step one is when you're sharing your life-changing opportunity, you first connect with the person's heart. And the way you connect with their heart is by telling a story of origin of how it affected you. Because of that story, you move to step two. Because of I learned this, Siva, I went and took action. I said, after I read The Seven Habits, I'm going to teach every single player that I coach those seven habits. So I went and took action. Because I began to teach those seven habits to players like Siva, uh, those times Siva Russell, when I began to teach those seven habits, we began to get more connected. We began to win more games. We began to have deeper buy-in, and we began to build a competitive intelligence. Chelsea, remember that word, competitive intelligence. What young people need is a competitive intelligence, and the competitive intelligence comes when every part of your nature is clicking on every cylinder, body, mind, heart, spirit, knowledge, skill, desire, confidence. That's, so, so what I've given you is I had a revelation, 18 years old, read the seven habits. Because of the revelation, I took action. I said, I'm gonna teach my players. Because I taught my players that, I had success. Step three, share success, because now we're winning. And the more we win, the more people wanna know, what are you doing with those kids? So I can say, here's what we're doing with those kids. Now, now we have something to sell. We've had a revelation. We took action. We've had success. Everybody see that? We've had a revelation. Okay, we took action. We've had success. Jack, my cameraman, had a revelation. Jack, somebody was sick in your family, right? If I remember correctly, you went to a salt room. You had a revelation. That you, had, you, you took action. You had success. Because of this success, you said, I'm going to go build one of these. So when you're thinking about this, this is the cycle. When you're sharing life-changing opportunity, you got to go, man, I had this big revelation. Because of that, I went and took some action. Because of that, I had this success. Now, I have something that is incredibly valuable for you. I have, I have a blueprint. I have a blueprint, okay? Like, like if I was saying how to go from being a high school basketball coach to a millionaire. You may be out there and say, uh, R.J. Grimshaw may, how to, how to finance this, how to do this. Rick True may say, I have a blueprint on how to do this, okay? Um, Daniel Hodges may say, I have a blueprint on how to do this. Andy Herzer may say, you know, I have a blueprint on how to do this. It's a life-changing opportunity. I remember when Andy Herzer, founder of First Shot, and I sat down in Murfreesboro, maybe 10 to 15 years ago, at a La Siesta Mexican restaurant, and we drew up the tenets of First Shot basketball. And he said, what is not happening with the young people. I said, no, they're underprepared in skill. Nobody's feeding the body, the mind, the heart, and the spirit. You build a league that feeds all four parts of a kid's nature, it's going to be so different than every other, other league out there. And Andy went and did it. He went and did it. He called it first shot. My daughter's in it right now. So, so, so my point to you, Terry Thayer, and the people that are watching is, and Terry went through this on the cruise, is we've had this big revelation, and don't, you got to go back to that. That's the part that connects, okay? Because of the revelation, I took action. Because of my action, I now have success. Because of my success, I now have a blueprint. Now I'm selling the recipe versus baking the cake, which is a big thing, okay? So you sell the recipe versus bake the cake. Now, after I'm giving my blueprint to people, now I'm starting to build credibility indicators. 
So you'll hear me talk about, well, we took Thomas C. Davidson, who just joined us, share this with people, and we say, well, Thomas C. Davidson was doing 45 real estate transactions a year, and now he's doing 125 transactions a year. And he's a success story for us. Now we've got credibility indicators. Now we can say this mortgage originator started wanting to do 60 million, and now she's doing 140 million. We can say this person was here, and now they're here because of the blueprint that we're sharing with people. Okay, so now we've got five steps and the sixth step of presenting a life changing opportunity is this. You got to show people how it will raise their status when they take action with you. People move toward things that will increase their status. They move away from things that they think will decrease their status. So you would hear me say, look, when I get when I help you get a 43 percent increase in a one year cycle, when I help you go do this. You're going to drive a better car. Your good kids are going to go to a better school. You're going to, um, to go on better vacations. You're going to buy second properties. I was talking to a guy this morning who's in a coaching program. and said, here's my ultimate goal. I'm making $250,000. And I said, look, we're going to show you a blueprint on how to go from 250 to 450 to 750 to a million. Then you can take the excess cash and buy that real estate that you want to buy. We're going to show you how to do that. It's going to raise your status. So when you're selling something, and you're presenting opportunity to people, just know this, if they think it will raise their status, they'll move toward it. If they think it will decrease their status, they'll move away from it, okay? So let me recap here. And Jack, I'm gonna do this in two segments. Let me recap, because I got everybody's here and they're honed in, and no need to go to commercial right now, okay? I've had a revelation, that's a big aha moment, boom. Because of my revelation, I took action, I didn't sit. 98% of people have desire, only 2% have ambition, I believe that. The 2% of people take action on the revelation. Number three, because of that, I've had success. Because of this success, I now have a blueprint. Now I've got a blueprint, and I'm starting to share it with other people. I'm starting to get success. Now I'm starting to understand how to raise another person's status. This is how you present a life-changing opportunity. So let me close the show with by asking you this. When you're selling right now, and you're presenting ideas to people, are you presenting ideas that people say, well, that, that will move the needle. That can move the needle in my business a little bit. Or are you presenting an opportunity to a person that says, man, if we do this, this, and this, it will change the entire game. Like not just a little bit, Clay Whitaker, like it'll, it'll change my whole life. And you gotta make up your mind when you're presenting your opportunity, is that what you're offering people? because people are not gonna leave one group, what's up, Hank Norman, and go to another group if it's just a little bit of a change. You gotta say, look, working with Hank Norman changed my whole life. Working with Clay Whitaker changed my whole life. Working with this person changed my whole life. My kids playing in that league changed their whole life. Studying this thing changed my whole life. That's how strong and how bold you have to get if you're gonna present a life-changing opportunity. Now let's close with this. If you wanna raise your game, as we move forward, number one, you got to bring energy. They tell us energy can't be created, can only be transferred. Too many people operate with low frequency and low energy. You can't change the game for people with low frequency. That's in how we move and how you walk into a room and what kind of mojo you got. You got to bring the juice, okay? Number two, you got to have curiosity. First thing I look for in a person is curiosity. People are trying to raise their game, have a curiosity. Number three, you got to have association. Association is you got to say, I want to get around people who are going to push me and challenge me and hold me accountable. Number four, you gotta have frequency. You gotta show up every day with lots of volume. And number five, you gotta decide versus dabble. Too many people dabble. I go back to that, that, that phrase, 2% of people have ambition, 98% have desire. The people with ambition take action on what they desire. RJ Grimshaw, good to see you, brother. Guys, if you're gonna be in Miami, Florida this week, we are heading out on some private jets Thursday my jet is leaving from Nashville, Tennessee. That morning, we're taking a group of people to us. We got a suite at the 10X Growth Conference. We're gonna be taking meetings in Miami. We're gonna be hanging out at night in Miami. We're gonna be spending time with each other. If you wanna come down, just, just reach out to me, Instagram, at Michael Burke, Facebook me, message me, and say, let's get together, let's spend some time. I'm gonna be down there Thursday to Sunday. We're bringing 25 entrepreneurs, J.D. Frost and I, and you really, 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 if you're down there, you wanna take us up on that. So. I believe everybody needs a coach in life. I believe a good coach can change everything for you guys. We still got some tickets tomorrow to Legacy Selling. My plan is to hold it, whether it snows, whether we got to put our snow boots on, 
whatever we got to do, my plan is to get there and deliver four and a half to five hours of the best content you've ever heard in your life. And legacy selling will change the game for you and your business. So everybody needs a coach. Thank you for letting me be yours. Hey there, this is Coach Michael Burt. And man, am I excited to, to take a group of 25 people down to Miami, Florida to 10X3. That's 10X Growth Conference 3. Miami, Florida, some of the biggest speakers in the world. And I decided this year to to purchase the most expensive premium suite at the Marlin Stadium. And the reason I did that is because what a unique opportunity to mastermind in the suite, fly down on a private plane, spend time with 25 like-minded people who are interested in performing at a higher level, all at the same time of going to the conference.